and the last card the last card up in smoke up in smoke up in smoke they're burning constitution the last card we the people and there's bush with the american flag leaf on his willy up in smoke card number 36 i think this is the only card where the name of the card and the description are the same up in smoke george bush's drug war has created a domestic climate hostile to the spirit of the bill of rights bill of rights we the people in 1989 then drug czar William Bennett advocated beheading drug, de be beheading drug dealers, an interesting take on the Eighth Amendment's protection against cruel and unusual punishment. In 1990, Attorney General Richard Thornborough authorized the impoundment of drug defendant, defendant Manuel Noriega's savings, making hash of the fifth amendment's ban on seizure of property without due process of law even more troubling is the attack on the fourth amendment's guarantees against unreasonable search and seizure led in 1989 by the department of transportation's mandated drug testing of private employees while the specter of stone pilots plummeting to earth with human cargoes in tow is an uh, arresting one it has little basis in reality from 1987 to 1988 the federal aviation administration conducted random drug tests of 20,000 workers tested only 118 turned up positive none was deemed a public hazard most were cited for off-duty use of marijuana which is detectable in the bloodstream for weeks in 1989 poll a 1989 poll found 62 percent of americans willing to give up a few of the freedoms we have in this country to support a war on drugs oh those dumbass 62 americans the anti-drug hysteria that led to this dangerous shift in public mood is linked ironically to the failures of the bush administration's drug policies by ignoring the influence of poverty and racism on drug on drug abuse by relying on imprisonment instead of treatment and by implementing a foreign policy willfully blind to the de uh, depredations of the international narcotics trade bush's drug warriors have seen to it that they will be gainfully employed for years to come that paragraph right there sums up u.s foreign policy connected to u.s domestic policies connected to our centralized education system and propaganda and complete indoctrination of a population to support things that go against their well-being welcome to the new world order